What's poppin', y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game, man. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to help progress in your life. The choice is yours on which direction you want to go. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know which direction you want to go. Just are you going to do what it takes to go that direction? You know what I'm saying? So listen, before I get into the title of my video... I want to say a big shout out to all my supporters. You guys are great. Hey, look. The title of this video is going to be on the fact that some people are upset. They're mad. They're irritated because they did a lot of finessing and sacrificing to be able to get to the place that they are in their life now. They finessed. They sacrificed. They lied. They twisted up. They did all types of things. You know what I'm saying? Just to get ahead in life. Whether it was fi for financial gain, whether it was, you know what I'm saying, to to influence the masses of people to go a different way, whatever it was, you know what I'm saying? They are upset because now they are finally realizing that that no longer works. You can get ahead and tell the truth. You can get ahead, you know what I'm saying, and not have to finesse nobody. It's your true, pure energy. That means you took the steps needed to improve yourself, to elevate and work on yourself purely. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that you didn't have to twist up, finesse, lie, nothing. All you had to do was be yourself. You can acquire a natural energy to yourself without influencing the people to... You know what I'm saying? Follow you, whether it's for money, you know what I'm saying? Drugs, whatever it is. Anything that feels good, a lot of people are inclined to follow. Not realizing that the very thing that y'all are following is not what y'all should be following to elevate your energy. It is everything to not help you get to where you're trying to go. That's why it's only a selected few people that made it to where they're trying to go because they realized what it took. And instead of teaching us the game, they taught us the opposite. Because their, you know what I'm saying, hardship or struggles internally was way more important than shifting the people in the correct direction. You know what I'm saying? You got to really think about it. Energy is a natural part of human existence and it elevates the more you do the work to grow. But if I can, you know what I'm saying, keep the people influenced to move a certain way that's enticing to them to keep the blindfold over their eyes and not make more money, why would I not do it? Especially if I'm in a situation that I'm dying to get out of. Instead of doing what it takes to accurately wait and be patient and, and do it the, the healthy way. You know what I'm saying? You got to really think about it, though. Some people do it the wrong way and some people do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? The choice is really yours. But you got to really be able to read in between the lines. And, and you know what I'm saying? Be understanding of the things that influences people. Just to think, if you listen to a bunch of rap songs, right? And they talking about getting guns and killing people. Who you think going to follow that? But they rich and you not. You struggling still. But you think that if you go out there and kill another man for his money... You're going to get ahead. You know what I'm saying? That's, no, you're going to get a jail sentence <laughs> or six feet under. Because what if that person shoots you first? Like, what? so listen, that's not, it's not the way. It's not the way. It's actually, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a false illusion of what they want people to believe. You know what I'm saying? And listen, they don't want you to talk. They don't want you to admit it they want you to shut up they want you to be quiet but you got to really think how some of the big name stars like growing up in my era they don't even do nothing no more and you be thinking to yourself why is that why is it you was popping then and then you know what i'm saying now all of a sudden you're not in the game and i know one person who was maya like she was popping back when i was a kid you know what i'm saying uh Silk the Shocker and, and her moving on, that was a hit. That was a classic. You know what I'm saying? But it came to the forefront that later on, she decided to get out of the entertainment business for the sole fact that, you know what I'm saying? Oftentimes, they want you to do things to, you know what I'm saying? Finesse you in a certain type of way to get you to go a certain type of way when you don't have to do that. Now, listen, I talk about this man all the time and I don't give a damn, but he's the truth. 
You know what I'm saying? And the fact that he built up his name off of basically doing it his own way. He had a big record victory lap, Nipsey, and he sold it on his own record label. He had mixtapes before that, but he built up his energy off of basically letting people know that if you do it this way and focus, you know what I'm saying, and put your mind to it, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. He didn't have to sell his soul to become successful. He built all his stuff from the ground up. You know what I'm saying? You got to really think about it like that. And listen, he's not a, a not, not attractive guy. But being the fact that you didn't hear him sleeping around, you know what I'm saying, with a whole bunch of women, you didn't hear nobody putting smut on his name. You didn't hear nobody talking about he was this type of dude behind the scenes. Like, he really actually stood on everything he talked about and still got ahead. He didn't have to lie or finesse nobody. You know what I'm saying? So why is it that people can't do it that way, but people can do it by finessing the people to think a certain way? That's crazy to me. That don't make no sense, which means you lie and you lead people in the wrong direction. All for personal gain. I don't care. It's the truth. I could never. I could never. I could never. You want to know why? Because I know the pain that comes with that. I know the pain that comes with death. I know the pain that comes with losing somebody. I know the pain that comes with being broke. I know the pain that comes with being homeless. I know the pain that comes with struggle. I know the pain that comes when people try to take away the people you love. I know I ain't experienced all those pains. So it's like, why would I want somebody else to experience that? For the love of money? You're tripping. You're tripping. Because when it's time for me to go, I, I, I can't take none of that with me. It's only here while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why? Why? I'm not understanding. You know what I'm saying? And they, and this is the part of the entertainment industry they want you to keep quiet about. Or you see a lot of entertainers who finesse it and tell it in subliminally different ways of what's really going on. And you got to be able to read in between the lines. But what is wrong with just cold-heartedly landing on a line and telling the truth? I, I'm not getting it. You know what I'm saying? Because some of these people is crashing out behind putting up a facade. You know what I'm saying? Behind trying to keep who they really are under wraps behind the scenes. It's time. And the time is now that you have people that come forward and say the truth. And even if the truth is not spoken, but it should be. You know what I'm saying? It's time for all karmic debt to be paid either way. You know what I'm saying? But it's... it's, it's the realization of the fact that it's people that are struggling and homeless and, you know what I'm saying, having mental health crisis, own drugs, but it's people that are making money off of leading us in that direction. That it just is beyond me. That makes absolutely no sense why it was so hard for you and what you were struggling with that you would take people down that very same road for the love of money? Never. Because it, it's a different way. It's a different way to where you don't got to lead the people in the wrong direction. And you can get it still. Mind you, listen, only because he's from California, he's very successful, and he stood on everything he was about. And the fact that he was a Rolling Sixties script, and he built his name off of admitting that, acknowledging that, and, 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 and sold stuff and, and, and made money and put his passion into rapping and a clothing, you feel me, store and built it up from the ground up in his neighborhood. Basically trying to show people the way that you can make it if you do it like this. You know what I'm saying? Why is it that oftentimes those people... <laughs> The police find some way to try to take them to jail because why? You don't want people to understand that it's a different way? That you have to lift the veil off of people's eyes so they can go in the direction you want them to? That's insane. It doesn't make any sense. And at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I really don't even have to say this. I really could be quiet because not everybody know at the end of the day, but then it's kind of like, People are going to believe what they want to believe either way. People are going to talk and say what they want to say. You know what I'm saying? But speaking the truth is something that is not 
acknowledged in life. It's almost as if you have to be fake and put on a facade for people to like you. Why in the hell would I want to do that? I've done it for a long time to only elevate in my life and realize that the people I thought I was putting a facade on for didn't really like me for real. Because maybe it was parts of themselves that they didn't like. And as long as I stayed on the low level, they were okay with that. You know what I'm saying? As long as you stay smoking weed, as long as you stay in addiction, as long as you stay lost, it, we cool with that. Because that's where we are. But don't you think about elevating. Because the moment you do, we don't know how to get there. And we're going to leave you in the dust right where you stand. Why is it like that? Shouldn't you want to be happy for someone elevating in life? And figuring out it's a different way. I had some of the most ridiculous stories in my group of friends of really just, listen, being the one that just looked like she was completely gone off the planet. So to be able to change that narrative and boost myself up to go in a different direction, I'm not understanding why you wouldn't be proud of that. You should, but you got to think about how the world operates. You know what I'm saying? spiritually is the world is not operating spiritually the way people see it on the surface people are very clever at lying and finessing and persuading you to think that it's like this but it's not you know what i'm saying and then when they leave you they spreading all type of negative energy towards you because they're ele they're mad and upset at the fact that you're getting to a place that they have not yet outgrown and you would think like, dang, I was rocking with you because I cared about you as a person. People don't be caring about people as a person. They only care about how you benefit them. You know what I'm saying? Once you pull back your energy and, and you focus on you, watch them all disappear. You feel me? It's, it, the game is real. It's not fake. You feel me? And it's the truth. And I'm, I'm really blessed that my eyes have opened you know what i'm saying because i'm willing to see that i upgraded for me at the end of the day i didn't do it to you know what i'm saying hurt anybody i didn't do it to you make somebody feel some type of way i did it for me had i not opened my eyes i probably wouldn't even be here right now to tell y'all this story so i don't care really what y'all do with y'all life i could care less you know what I'm saying? So you got to think about how deep it be for people and how mad people be. You know what I'm saying? People don't like when you speak the truth. They'd rather you stay under the illusion. It is comfortable there. Everybody kumbaya and, and, and plays and act like we for everybody and each other until we go home or we get around another set of people and then we finesse and twist the story up because we don't really like you for real because you're getting closer to telling the truth and we don't want that. We want you to keep the illusion going, keep the lie going. Everybody knows how to operate that. Everybody knows how to work that. You know what I'm saying? It's easier for everybody, so shit. I'm not going to, you feel me, uh, crash out over somebody telling me I shouldn't better myself not gonna happen so i have to deal with you feel me <laughs> the negative attacks and you feel me a lot of probably other people do too negative attacks because it's almost like you get pushed in a direction to uplift yourself you don't get a choice on if you want to or not it's either you're going to take this road or you're going to crash out behind somebody else so you need to make a choice and if you don't make the right one i'm going to force you to make the right one so at the end of the day people need to start understanding that it is a higher force greater than yourself we have been living a lie for a long time as you can tell you can hear that can't you hear that person get to talking you feel me all of a sudden you start hearing weird shit going on it's the truth never be afraid of the truth because the truth is going to set you free and it's going to help you elevate your life at the end of the day at least i know i bettered myself so when that time comes i didn't sell myself short i didn't do it for no money i didn't die behind drugs i didn't go mentally insane I wasn't a messed up person to people. I did the growth I needed for myself to elevate in myself. And that's all it be about. You feel me? If everyone can turn around and do that, that's a that's a strong force field against negativity. And they'll, they're, they're desperate. They'll do whatever they can to fight back. Because you got to remember, negative energy don't die. It just figures out a different way. But it'll use all the tricks that it's been studying. Means if you no longer are 
allowing those tricks and triggers to affect you, they no longer get affected. Now they have no choice but to leave you the fuck alone. You feel me? So listen, if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I got to be mindful and understanding that they don't like the truth. They don't. People don't want to hear the truth. They want to keep living life how they've been living. And they're okay with that. Well, shit, I don't know no other way to be but truthful. So if you don't want to hear the truth, don't be around me. And that's fine. You feel me? Because then you're going to have to realize how your life is really shitty for real. And it's keeping you in mental distress. And you don't know how to get out of it.